This is a brief demonstration of a, a sort of late 1960s, early 1970s um, antenna noise bridge. Came across it when I was sorting out uh, things in the workshop here. Um, did a little modification to it. I put a LED in so when it's switched on, you can see it's switched on. Otherwise, it's um, so easy to leave these things in the on position and drain the battery. It's got a little PP3 battery inside it. So at the moment I've got a receiver plugged into the um, the receiver socket and um, I've got a signal 14 megahertz um, going into the receiver which is a Edison 940. Um, not that that's too important, it's just that it's a demonstration that it's at 14 megahertz. This little unit will actually go from 1 megahertz to 300 megahertz um, and it'll measure uh, impedances between um, about five, five ohms and over 100 ohms. Um, so it's, it's, it's an antenna bridge. So the idea is you can measure antenna impedance uh, by listening for a null on the receiver. So uh, switch it on and you'll, what happens is you'll, you'll hear a noise. There's a noise generator in here. And uh, when the, um, the internal um, impedance balances the external impedance uh, there's a null in the noise not complete null but it's definitely a dip in the noise level at the moment I've got a it's a 50 ohm um, load on there so this is sort of typical of a, an antenna you'd want to uh, tune to something like 50 ohms to get a good match to a receiver transmitter so hopefully it can be heard in the in the background there so I'll switch on. So there's definitely a distinct null at 50 ohms there. Try some different impedances and this is a 100 ohms dummy load. I'll just put this on. Nulls about there, so it's just over 100 ohms on the scale there. And finally, I'll try a, a 25 ohm load. This is actually two 250 ohm loads um, in parallel, so it's 25 ohms. Just to get an indication if it reads okay at the other end of the scale. So then it's nulling around about uh, 23, 24, which isn't too bad. So the scale isn't that accurate, it's within a, an ohm or two, which is fine for the type of instrument it is. Um, Omega T systems are model TE702. The O1 only went to 100 megahertz and the O2 went to 300 megahertz. I found a couple of articles on the, on the internet on this from the, from the early 1970s. Anyway, I was pleased to see it worked. I'd never actually tried it before. I don't know where it came from. Somebody's obviously tried to calibrate it down to 5 ohms. There's a handwritten scale there down to 5 ohms. I haven't uh, tested it below 25. Anyway, just thought I'd do a little, little demonstration. Nice, neat little gadget. Uh, I've got plenty of other things in the shack that will do the same job these days, but uh, it's quite, quite neat. And it's quite a good noise generator.